Uh, praise God. This past week, I was uh, driving with my GPS turned on, which for me is unusual. Uh, I usually look up where I'm going and then, you know, have my route in my head and know, you know, I need to go 101 South and then take 85 South and move to this next place. Uh, but this week I was driving my car and so I was, uh, had the GPS turned on and I realized how much more comfortable it was to drive because I didn't have to think about where I was going. The Google lady was kind enough to let me know that my exit was coming up and, you know, two miles, I need to move to the right lane and get ready to exit the, the highway. Uh, Google lady would let me know when there's traffic ahead and I, I need to take another route. And so my drive was a lot more comfortable. Um, if I'm not using the GPS, it's not uncommon for me to, you know, to be eyeing every exit that I'm crossing, seeing if I've reached the one that I want to get to, or, um, you know, I need to take exit 331. So I've reached 330. Now I need to move to the right lane to exit. Uh, I need to position myself so that I'm ready to go. It's not uncommon for me to stop in the middle of a, uh, a drive and say, hey, did I miss my exit? And I need to pull up my map again to make sure I didn't miss my right exit. Uh, and so the driver is a lot more concerned about, I'm, I'm more concerned during my drive about what's the route I need to take, what's where do I need to get off. Um, and it's it's a lot less fun doing it that way is what I realized this week. Um, and so why do I share this? There's a GPS verse in the Bible, I think we all know this, Isaiah 30, verse 21, um, from verse 20, talking about the Lord. The Lord has... The Lord, your teacher, will no longer hide himself, but your eyes will behold your teacher. Your ears will hear a word behind you. This is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right or to the left. And the Lord was um, speaking to me again uh, about this verse in the context of worry. Um, I was thinking about driving without a GPS and with a GPS and how much more worry is added if I'm driving without a GPS, how much more I've got to concentrate, how much more I've got to do my part. Um, and I was thinking of my my life in general. If I was living my life in general without the guidance of the Lord, without the Lord directing my steps, I need to make sure that I've got all my you know ducks lined in a row. I need to make sure I'm, I'm doing exactly what's needed of me. I'm doing a PhD right now. Am I publishing enough papers? Am I you know meeting the right people? Am I building the right network? Am I placing myself in the best place so that I can find the next job once I'm done. Um, but if I'm led by the Lord, I, I, I'm seeing that there's a lot more peace in my heart, especially when I think about these long-term big things. I happen to have conversations with three of my friends who are from the, from the Middle East uh, this past week. And in each of the conversations, they brought up very valid reasons why I should be a very concerned and very worried man. Uh, the politics in the Middle East is extremely volatile right now. Uh, the taxes in the US is changing to make it worse for grad students. Uh, immigration is becoming a lot more difficult for foreigners to be here. And I saw all of these, you know, big things, which are big mountains. They, I, I will not say that they're, they're small mountains, but these are big mountains that are facing me. And I felt the Lord asking, are you going to worry about these things? These are things that are huge. Have You have absolutely no control over. What are you going to do about this? And what I was reminded of is the song that we sing very often in our church. My God is bigger than all the mountains that I have. Uh, and so I don't want to downplay the bigness of the mountains that are in my way, but I want to lift up how big my God is. And when my eyes see more clearly uh, how big my God is, there's not much I need to worry about the mountains that are ahead of me. Um, and the verse in Matthew chapter 6 where, where Jeremy was sharing from, if you go to the end of that passage, what it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 and 34, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough troubles of its own. So I've seen God be true in this with this promise, and I fully expect him to prove himself again, that the worries of tomorrow are too big for me to think about. I don't need to think about them. I can leave them to the Lord uh, and ask him to do, to do his best. If I'm seeking his kingdom and seeking his righteousness, I know that he will add all that I need to my life. Praise God.